In this video, I'm going to be showing you two easy ways to defeat the Stormcaller miniboss in Modern Warfare Zombies. This enemy spawns inside the Aether Storm and draws high tier loots and the Golden Skull that you can sell for 5000 points. And of course, killing the Stormcaller is required to complete the tier 4 mission closing time in Act 3 to progress the story. But before we start, I want to give a tip that makes both strategies a lot easier. If you are unlucky enough to have the Aether Storm inside the High Threat Zone, X will at the beginning of the match to keep everything in your inventory for the next game. I mean it's still manageable to kill the Stormcaller there if you are up for a challenge, but you have to worry about every enemy and not just those inside the storm. But without any further ado, let's start with the first method. You will need the Wanderwaffe DG2 Wonder Weapon, and fortunately, you can get the guaranteed schematic. Head over to your story missions in the menu to skip the closing time and activate the mission called Holdout instead. Complete this mission by doing Outlast contracts, and once you exit with the weapon case, you will be able to craft it in the menu. Keep in mind that we'll put the recipe on a 48 hour real time cooldown. Also do not forget to reactivate your closing time mission. Since the Stormcaller is above Disciple, their elemental weakness is electricity, so the Wunderwaffe deals extra damage. A little ironic, isn't it? Now let's talk about your setup. A tier 2 Wunderwaffe can take down the Stormcaller, but I would advise going for a tier 3 pack a punch if you have the time. Only buy the important perks like Juggernaug, Stamina, Speed Cool and Quick Revive, and make sure you have decoys. If you can infill with any of those, you can skip the in-game setup, mainly the pack a punch crystals can save you time. Ok, when you are in the game, do not, and I repeat, do not activate your Wunderwaffe for any of your items yet. First, get some points for whatever you still need to finish your setup, and again, check where the storm is. Then, most importantly, check if the Stormcaller is still alive, or even inside the storm. Yes, the game has many bugs right now. This way you can prevent activating and losing your valuable items, so if there's a problem, you can exfil with them to retry in the next game. But let's say everything is alright and you are ready to activate everything and finish your setup. Then run inside the Aether Storm to attract the Stormcaller and start running outside, throw a decoy and spam the boss with the Wunderwaffe. So the strategy here is to pull the Stormcaller to the edge, while the zombies are distracted so he can't regenerate health if nothing is nearby. If there's an ammo refill next to you, you won't have any problems, but you can simply kill the zombies for ammo drops as well. Keep in mind every elite enemy has a secret critical spot, so if you shoot the Stormcaller's hand when he's doing the lifesteal attack, you not only stun him but do a lot of damage, similar to getting headshot. Because to progress here, you have to break the mask 3 times. And after you spend the boss enough and you can see his health is really low, make sure you're inside the storm to defeat the Stormcaller so the kill counts towards the challenge. Ok, our next method requires no setup besides a gas mask, maybe Juggernaut and most importantly the Bloodburner motorcycle. The only issue is that this strategy is either 10 times more efficient than the first or the complete opposite because it heavily relies on luck. The Bloodburner has set spawn locations but the spawn itself is completely random and only one, sometimes two can be found in a match. Plus there's always a chance some other player already find it before you. This vehicle has infinite fuel, it's almost impossible to destroy, has a special ability to release an ether blast to kill nearby enemies and can go on water. I made this cheat sheet image with the known small locations so you can do a loop in the medium and high threat zones to find it. You can also download this image from the description and I'm going to update it if any new locations are found. But when you are close to the motorcycle you can see its icon on your minimap. Once you have the blood burner, run over some zombies until the ether pool special ability is fully charged up. Then drive into the storm, park next to the storm cooler miniboss nicely and gently and activate the ether pools to instantly kill the boss. I do wanna mention the first method is more reliable on the long run, or I just had the worst luck in the world because I'm afraid to tell you how long it took me to find this bike. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video, so if you find it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to never miss uploads like this, and thank you all so much for watching, see you in the next one.